Good morning. My intuition wants to stop again, so let me start with Archangel Michael and see what he has to say. They go of fear now and energy healing work. So these are the two cards that came out and the one is to be shared. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> they go of fear now. Energy healing work. Be gentle with yourself. And this is your life's purpose. Let go of fear now. Energy healing work. Be gentle with yourself. And this is your life's purpose. So why is this your life's purpose? And the Isis will tell you why. Truth unveiled, goddess of 10,000 names. So, yeah, she's a goddess, and you all know her as <clears throat> Aphrodite, Venus, all of that. That's her. And Divine Destiny, wow. So this is what she wants to say. Truth unveiled. Goddess of 10,000 names. Yeah, she has different names, but it's the same person. It's Lady Isis. And healing the divine masculine, Osiris rises. And divine destiny, path of the divine warrior. <clears throat> so this is your life's purpose because it's your destiny to do this. That's your purpose. And your purpose is your destiny. It's hand in hand. And that's why nobody can change that or take it from you because it's yours. You chose it. So when you know what the truth is, what happens? one self-acceptance so that would be um number three if you add it up that's the empress and 21 is a world card so that would be capricorn <clears throat> 26 gratitude so when you add up two and six that's eight uh for leo strength card seven pure speech seven is the chariot cancer and the path oh wow Wow, the path, number four, the path, that would be Aries. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, wow. Wow. This is your life's purpose because it's your destiny. <clears throat> and it's your path. <laughs> wow. So this is your life's purpose because it's your divine destiny and that's your path. 
Like I said, your destiny and your path and your purpose, they're all the same thing. So we have 21, self-acceptance, 26, gratitude, 7, pure speech, and number 4, the path. So it says, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path by Buddha. The path to enlightenment is an endless process. You have to practice diligently and with discipline. Eventually, you'll become the path itself and fewer struggles and sufferings will come your way. And that's the truth card. That is the truth. And this is what the path looks like. So this is your life's purpose because it's your destiny and it's your path. It can't get any more clearer than that. So <clears throat> what does the tarot deck have to say about that? And speaking of which, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, this is the opportunity. Huge opportunity. Huge chance. <clears throat> and this chance, this opportunity, comes with new love, new passion, and the truth. So Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Swords. All the aces combined, <clears throat> and they all come with this ace of pentacles, this opportunity, this chance. Yeah, you're supposed to be abundant. Oh, wow, look at that, the emperor. Number four, Aries. <laughs> So <clears throat> this chance is going to be equal, equal give and take. It's a new start. It makes you free. It's freedom. You're supported. And this person could be an empath. Look at that, Queen of Cups. Scorpio and her match is the King Cups Cancer <clears throat> oh wow wow so this empath also has clarity look at that wow so I want to know like who is this <sighs> so first it was this And now it's this. Wow. Same person, but you have an empath. You have clarity. You have abundance. And you have passion. <laughs> <clears throat> so two queens so far. Wow. Clarity and clarity. Oh my God. <clears throat> so this Queen of Swords, Aquarius, who gives clarity, says you have clarity. So clarity and clarity. Oh, wow. King of Wands. So this is going to be a new passion too. Wow. And his match is the Queen of Wands. So you have Aries and Leo. 
<laughs> um, and you're going to have a spiritual connection with this person, your match, because you have the lover's card. So this spiritual connection between the two people, your match, is also protected by the divine, especially Archangel Michael. And this person is also a soulmate, and that's why you have support. Wow. Oh, you have a divine number here. Six to six. You have six of pentacles and six of cups. Oh, wow. You have the sun? So this person is going to make you happy. The same person that's an empath, has clarity, is passionate. The same person that you have a spiritual connection with, that's your soulmate as well, is also going to make you happy. That's your source of happiness. Wow. And your intuition is telling you this with the high priestess. Oh my God. Cancer, number two. So you have 11 and 11 here because you have the two of wands and <clears throat> number two, the high priestess. <laughs> wow. So you have to, so you start will give you clarity because your intuition tells you. Then you have clarity. You have even more clarity. So you have look at that. You have this clarity, this two of wands is surrounded by Ten of Swords reversed, the Queen of Swords, High Priestess, and the King of Wands. I mean, wow. You're peaceful. You're abundant. And for some reason, oh my God. Your enemies want you to be sneaky and light and fake. Really? It's supposed to be, un it's supposed to be upside down because that would make you honest. But for some reason, your enemies want you to be fake. Really? Out of all the cards, all the other cards that showed up are, are positive, and then this card shows up at the end. The last one is negative. Really? I would think so. You wish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these positive cards. Oh, and then you have the Ten of Swords, the two of them. So you have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands of Swords. Really? Oh, and the Eight of Swords too. So three of them are negative. Yeah, so your enemies are telling you this is all fake. It's not real. Really? When they're the same people that betrayed you, Ten of Swords, same people that uh, wanted to wanted you to lose your freedom, Eight of Swords, when you're stuck. And the same people that bring fake, they're fake. They did all this to you, who is innocent, and you're getting all this. Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Two of Wands, Six of Cups, The Lovers, Queen of Swords, King of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, five of Wands reversed, the Sun. Oh, oh, you have a reversal. <sighs> High Priestess, I mean, all of this.
all of this. You're supposed to be happy and abundant. And your enemies are trying to block this because they want to keep you in the, in the past and stuck in the past. It's like they don't want you to have this because if you have this, then that means that they're over. So, Ten of Swords. So, yeah, whoever is blocking this is also blocked in reverse. Nice try. I don't think so. So, Ten of Swords for you. Eight of Swords for you. Seven of, seven of Swords for you. All these swords, all this negative negativity that you're feeling, you're going to project it on me. Guess what? That's going to be, that's going to be returned back to you. Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Five of Wands. Yep, that's what you get when you're in that negative energy. More negative energy for you. So Five of Wands for you. More conflict, more drama. So let me remind you what's going to happen to you. Ten of Swords, betrayal that will cause... A betrayal so big that will cause an ending. Eight of Swords. You have no freedom whatsoever. Seven of Swords. Fake. Five of Wands. More conflict, more drama, more problems. Because you attacked someone. This in inner, this is this taking back control of their life. This in this emperor energy. You attack someone that's an empress number three, all because of hatred and jealousy. Yep, and because of that, that's what you get. And this is what the intuition is going to say. Wow. So, this innocent person is supposed to be happy. The sun, high priestess, night. So, let me be specific. Happy and abundant. So, they're going to get the sun, high priestess, nine of pentacles, king of wands, queen of swords, the lovers, six of cups, two of wands, three of cups. Six of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. All of that. Plus what the intuitions are saying. Queen of Pentacles. They're supposed to be abundant. Hangman Pisces. They've surrendered. They have a change in perspective. Because you have been trying to attack someone innocent. So you have Taurus. Pisces. And someone intuitive. So they don't have to go slow like you. But you want to play God and change that. Well, guess what? You're about to find out who made you. You're about to find out who you really are. And everyone is also going to know who you really are. And what you've been doing to someone innocent. Exposed. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Two of Wands, Six of Cups, The Lovers, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, The Sun, and they're intuitive too, so they don't have to go slow. They've surrendered, and they're very abundant. They're supposed to be abundant and happy. Look at that. Happiness and abundance in intuition. And you try to and you trying to block that, really? Their destiny? You try to block their destiny? Really?
right. So let me remind you of who and what you are. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Ten of Swords. And this is what the intuition is going to say. Yeah, you're not abundant at all. You're lying. You're not intuitive at all. You're lying. And you haven't surrendered at all. So you're lying. All you do is lie. And that's what you're going to get. Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. Five of Wands. The Hangman reversed. Nine of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. That's your destiny. That's your fate. That's your karma. Especially this. That's your fate and your destiny. Having said that, I hope I helped you in some way and I will talk to you again soon.